Hello guys click link in description below to watch this basketball in high quality enjoy your time. Hello guys click link in description below to watch this basketball in high quality enjoy your time. Hello guys click link in description below to watch this basketball in high quality enjoy your time. Hello guys click link in description below to watch this basketball in high quality enjoy your time. last four minutes and 45 seconds and four minutes and 45 seconds ago we were talking about it was vital for philly to answer now the roles reverse they got to get something here from toronto and abaca tries to do it inside he's gone three of four he's got 10 points off the bench he was terrific in that first half and he is going to have to have an impact here in this third quarter Simmons hands off to Anna, who just checks in. Tries to take it inside. The collision, the loose ball. Leonard will vacuum it in with a foul. It goes on Ennis. What do they put it on? They put it on Scott. Scott. And no, now the, the computer just changed it again. He got tangled up there between Lowry and Ennis and Toronto able to come away with the turnover. Scott's got two. Little pass inside of Becca finds the curling. Kawhi Leonard. And Leonard with 21. Yeah, how about that pass there from Siakam at the elbow? Nice delivery. And again, with Embiid out of the game, no rim protection. Much easier to get in the paint. Simmons to Ennis, goes by Ibaka and takes it inside and across the lane to the foul. Reaching in, Raptors pick it up, 352 to play green number two. Watch this post entry there, just nice job. You notice the weak side help not there. Leonard probably got the easiest look as he, he's had in this third quarter. Ennis who has been important for Philadelphia so far in this series. At the line and in this series we've had two blowouts by the Sixers. We've had two blowouts by Toronto and two pretty even close games make that three, including tonight. It's been impressive to see, and that's really the nature of a seven-game series. You know, you're going to have some games where one team just is electric, but those decider games, I call them 50-50 games. You know, both teams won one on the opposing floor. in Philly now trying to win a second one here and giving themselves a great chance on the road. Siakam and Green are out. Van Vliet is checked in. Gasol is checked in. Here comes Leonard, picked up by Simmons. Screen, switch. Shot clock at five. Embiid is out on Kawhi Leonard. Shot clock at one. <laughs> Rebound Simmons. I'll tell you what, they have done a really good job. Oof. Yeah, ben Simmons wanted Ennis to run, but I, I think Ennis is running to the three-point line. If you're Ben Simmons, you've got to understand that and get that pass on, on the target. Simmons a foul. He was trying to, on the wing, watch Kawhi Leonard. And Simmons, number three. Yeah, so no, no issue foul-wise as J.J. Reddick's going to check back in. But this group, you know, Nick Nurse searching right now. He's And we haven't seen Van Vliet and Lowry in the game much together because the way they were getting hurt on the offensive glass. But with the struggles they're having, he's gone to that small backcourt to see if they can ignite them offensively. Leonard and Simmons, shot clock at eight. Lowry, Van Vliet, across the lane. Butler is there, shot clock at two. Three. Offensive rebound, Lowry. Leonard open. Rebound Lowry again. Abaka. Three. Leonard. Kawhi Leonard had missed seven of his last eight shots before that. So that's Kyle Lowry. Two offensive rebounds by the smallest guy on the floor. Leads to that triple there for Leonard. And how about 
both teams facing a little adversity in this third quarter. Both teams have responded in kind. And one point lead here. This has been a terrific battle. Fred Van Vliet just picked up his third personal foul. 76ers have gone eight deep. Raptors have gone seven deep tonight. With Reddick at the free throw line. In the series, 86%. During the regular season, 89%. Join Bleacher Report's Taylor Rooks as she interviews the world's most exciting athletes and celebrities. Take it there with Taylor Rooks. Watch it Wednesdays on the BR app. Two and a half to play in the third. In this game, seven. The winner will have Milwaukee waiting. The Bucks are combined five and two against both Toronto and Philadelphia. Against Toronto, they won three of four. The Bucks have been pretty good against everybody this season. Yes, they've they had have. a special year. It may be the coach of the year and the MVP. Shot clock at five. They're trailing Leonard into the paint. Hands off Casal. I tell you what, credit Nick Nurse. It's really worked by spacing the floor more with Van Vliet and Lowry in the game, and you're seeing more room for Kawhi Leonard to operate in the half court. J.J. Reddick. Rebound by Abaka. Reddick is 4 of 10. Abaka has three rebounds. The other way, the down of Lowry. The beauty of a seventh game, Kevin. You, you just never know what is going to transpire? What move? And it's been right now going small ball for Toronto. Deflection, Van Vliet. Rejection by Embiid. Two points for Baca. Another offensive rebound by Kyle Lowry. He's got three offensive rebounds in the last three possessions. And Jurassic Park right now loving it. Raptors are on a 13 to 3 run. Approaching a minute to play in the third. And beating Gasol. Round him and down it goes. Marcus All has got to be better than that. Knowing the double team's coming, he gave up baseline and B with a crafty move to get all the way to the rim. Philly a foul to give. 53 seconds to play in the third. Harris watching Leonard. Great effort there by Simmons. But then Lowry, you see how he went down and took that ball away from Simmons and then Embiid able to get baseline, goes away from the double team for a much needed basket for the Sixers. Tobias Harris just picked up his second personal foul at the free throw line. Kawhi Leonard, three of three tonight. Coming into this game seven, a lot of the people that cover this Toronto team talked about the hesitancy to take open shots, whether they should pass or fire the shot up. I don't see a lot of hesitancy tonight. Well, I tell you, you didn't see it once Nurse went to this small lineup with, with Van Beek, but they had for the first five, six minutes of this third quarter, they were not looking. Siakam was not looking to shoot the basketball. And, you know, you don't know how guys are going to handle that adversity. He hasn't been in this moment before. And, He's going to have another opportunity to redeem himself here in the fourth quarter. Kawhi Leonard has put in 11 third quarter points. It's Harris. And Bede. Gasol defends. With a foul. It's on Mark Gasol. He picks up his third. And I like the decision there by Embiid to not settle for that three-pointer. Couldn't tell from our angle partner if Oh, that's a good call. What got him was the swipe down. Watch him swipe down there. That's he's swiping as the contact comes. That's an easy call for the official. Free throw shooting in this game by both teams has been terrific as Embiid himself 
has gone five of five with his double double tonight 13 points and 10 rebounds as a team the Sixers 18 of 21 from the line Raptors 15 of 16 shooting free throw Okay, seventh game, one point lead at 25 seconds ago. You could not ask for anything more. Let's see who handles the pressure and the moment best down the stretch. Van Vliet, Leonard, three seconds different, shot clock game clock. Oh, and Baca. Took it right away inside. He just wanted it more. On that possession, Serge Ibaka has been huge here tonight. It's Embiid plowing his way inside with a foul. Lowry took it again. Kyle Lowry, he leads. He's leading the playoffs in charges and also in deflections. And his willingness to sacrifice the body, you saw it. Not a lot of people are going to be willing to step in front of Joel Embiid as he's coming downhill. But understanding the importance of that possession. 17 to 7 run by Toronto. The last four and a half minutes. Let's go to the fourth three point game on TNT. head coach Nick Nurse. Coach, you have the lead, but their offense found some confidence. What does your defense have to do to slow their momentum? Uh, you know, we really had a good stretch going, and then we come out of a timeout, and we lose Reddick, and then we lose Harris in the transition. And that really, I mean, that's all it takes is a couple quick threes to give you some confidence. And with your season on the line, Kawhi Leonard is the focal point of your offense. What are the situations you're trying to put him in? What are the shots you want him to seek? Well, I'd like to see some other guys get involved here, to be honest with you. And you know what else I'd like to do? What? I'd like to wish all the mothers happy Mother's Day. Well done. Thank you. Thanks. Happy Mother's Day, everyone. <laughs> all right, Rives, thank you. Here comes Van Vliet. Siakam, three, no, rebound Harris. By the way, Leonard has taken 30 of the 70 shots for the Raptors. He's taken a lot. It's Harris with a two. I'll tell you what, Tobias has got a nice rhythm going offensively and with this small lineup for Toronto if you're Brett Brown we've got to try to punish them inside we've got matchups that we like as Marcus all finally delivers from deep well in the series he was only eight of 24 shooting threes one of four tonight shooting the three ball the lead is four it's been as high as nine for Toronto 76 is have led by seven and beat off balance firing and foul you see just in rhythm there creates the space he's got a beautiful mid-range game and Gasol answers back Tobias late on that rotation miscommunication by he and Embiid as to who was going to guard out on that three-point line Van Vliet number four fourth personal foul here is Embiid who has struggled outside the restricted area good inside outside he's 0 of 9 has it now no time left shot clock violation really poor awareness there by the Sixers do not want to waste possessions like that that is an unforced error that's not on Reddick either. That, that's really more so on Tobias. He's got to be more aggressive in that situation late clock. Lowry screened by Siakam. Rebound by Reddick. Rebounding in the game. Plus six Raptors. It's Simmons. There he goes. That transition is terrific. I'll tell you what. He caught Ibaka in the face when he did that Euro step there. Inadvertent contact, but boy, that was a beautiful finish by Simmons. Ibaka's already got it. You saw that band-aid going. Here's a pass to Siakam, back to Lowry. 
Embiid watching Siakam. Siakam is just reluctant to shoot the basketball right now. And I'll tell you what, wow. Ibaka. What about that three by Serge Ibaka? Three of three on triples. Fighting inside Simmons. That's a foul on Simmons. They're going to get Simmons. And again, who else but Kyle Lowry stepping in. Tell you what, unless he led with the elbow, we got to take a look at that. That was a difficult shot by Ibaka. It was a three, no doubt about it. Simmons has four fouls. Why Leonard had 11 points in that third quarter, 26 for the game, leading all scores. Lowry is on top. Shot clock is down to five with the drive. Out of bounds. Yes, I tell you, it's a lot of time left, and it's a five-point game. Well, that's a big possession defensively for Philadelphia right now because they are searching for answers offensively here, trying to stem the tide. Butler, two of nine, six points, a three. Jimmy Butler. And we have seen this story before with Jimmy Butler. He was huge down the stretch of game two when they were able to tie this thing up here earlier in the series. And 25 in game six in Philly a couple nights ago. Leonard making his move. Simmons defending. Puts on the brakes. Kawhi Leonard with 30 points. He is already a career Make high. 28 in, points. A career high in field goal attempts though. He's taken 31 shots here to get in this game. Butler. Another one for Jimmy Butler with 11. Tell you what, that, that's the beauty of a veteran like Jimmy Butler. Struggle to make shots all game, but it doesn't affect his approach to the game. Still every bit as confident at this stretch of the game as he was when it started. Three, Ibaka. No. Rebound by Tobias Harris. I'll tell you what, partner, that was almost a huge mistake by Jimmy Butler. It left a wide open Ibaka. And fortunate he doesn't knock that down. Butler began one of eight, takes it inside, tried to hand off to Simmons. Shot clock at eight. And Siakam will pick up a foul. Butler now, four of 11. You see Butler here just creates the space. Able to elevate up over Gasol and fortunate is Toronto that they don't reward Butler free throws on that last possession. Two point game Raptors on top on TNT. The upcoming TNT playoff schedule Wednesday 830 either the Raptors or Sixers will be in Milwaukee. Take on the Bucks in game one of the Eastern Conference Finals with the voice the Hall of Famer of the NBA Marv Alberts. Reggie Miller and Chris Webber, 746 here. Serge Ibaka, 17 points off the Toronto bench. The bench of 76er, Coach Brett has scored eight. And other than that, Big three-point wow. shot by Embiid. I tell you what, does he deliver there? He's had his struggles from the field all game long, but his presence is being felt none bigger than on that triple. Screen by Siakam, the driving Kawhi Leonard. Shot clock at three. Lowry. Oh, what a shot! You got to love it, partner. Big time plays being made really on both ends. This is what elimination games are all about. It's a beat looking inside for a back pedaling Simmons. Ah! He'll throw up one off the glass. Kind of a Cirque du Soleil shot inside and everybody going down and beat is down. I think they bumped heads again. I think Ibaka. they may have. Yes, Ibaka. Is Ibaka who's got the band-aid on his forehead. They're going to have to take a look at that partner. Gasol picked up his fourth foul. Oh, he got raked across the eye. That's what that was. 
I didn't see that did they they did call the foul. Foul was on Gasol, number four. Again, inadvertent contact, but that doesn't make it feel any better. You see that left hand come up and right across the eyes there. And, and the, the fans may not like it, but I can guarantee you that nothing can bring a big man down any quicker than to get raked across the eyes. More importantly, how big a shot was that from Ben Simmons? Incredible to Tough catch one. it yes. and in the presence to be able to finish up over the extended hands there of Ibaka. Well, Philadelphia has made their last six shots. They lead by one. They trailed by nine earlier on. Yeah, now they're just trying to determine if there was anything flagrant, which I don't think it is. But I'm still unsure. Did they call foul on that play? Because if they did, then he's going to get a free throw. Gasol picked up number four. That's a huge play because he'll, he'll get a free throw. On the made basket, a loose ball foul. It wasn't flagrant because he kind of yeah, kind of got tangled up. And now we're going to shoot one. Okay. One shot. And beat at the line. There tonight he is six of six. He has a double-double. Siakam has 11 rebounds and 9 points. Leonard leading all scores with 28 on 31 shots in 37 minutes. Butler, great hustle. Oh, my goodness. Oh, they, they called it deflection. They sure did. I'll tell you what, I don't think that ball was deflected. That's a huge break for Philly. Butler, three. With a rebound by Ibaka. And they don't take advantage of it. Uh oh, they got the mismatch on Reddick with Gasol and outside to Siakam. Good ball rotation, Lowry. His three. Gasol, the offensive rebound. Leonard with a three. Good! It's a two point game. Leonard has got. 31 points. And even though he didn't score there, Serge Ibaka, offensive rebound, keeps it alive, and that leads to that triple for Leonard. Embiid. This all defending Joel Embiid. Good shot by Joel Embiid. Did the big fella just hit him with a step back? 19 I mean, points. <laughs> you don't often see a guy wow. 7 2, 280 doing step backs, but that's exactly what he did on that possession. He was basket from Embiid. Sixers have found their stroke here in the second half. And shooting at 43%. Raptors at 36%. Leonard. That was over Embiid. on Tobias Harris of Philadelphia number three. You see Kawhi able to just step right into that. That is just poor defense, but you can't blame it because it's off an offensive rebound. Hard to get matched back up. You oftentimes see threes get knocked down off of offensive rebound. Here comes Kawhi Leonard as the defensive Simmons right there and takes it up down. Shot! Giving it to you any way you want it there. Just able to sell the contact there and still the presence to finish up over Simmons. Leonard has the last seven Toronto points. Simmons just picked up his fifth personal foul. And Toronto leads by five. Under five to go. 
And it goes without saying, this is a huge possession offensively for Philly. I would like to see Embiid again inside. Embiid to Butler. With a pocket in there defending. That was a great pass there, though, from Embiid. And great catch by Butler. Serge Ibaka just picked up his second personal foul. Jimmy Butler will be at the free throw line with his 11 point and three rebound night. Two of two from the strike. Four of 12 from the field in 38 minutes. And now if you're Brett Brown, you've got to make an adjustment. Ben Simmons with five fouls. You're probably going to have to go with either Butler or Harris on Leonard. You're not going to be able to have, you shouldn't have Simmons on him at this point. They're risking fouling out. Way too much time left in this game. Four and a half. Leonard, 36 points on 34 shots. And Butler's on him now. Now Embiid with the switch. Oh, and Butler turned his ankle. It's Kawhi Leonard. And I'm not sure if that was going to go down. You, you don't fault Ibaka, though, because he's been so aggressive at attacking that offensive glass there. Well, let's keep an eye on Jimmy Butler, who is still laboring a little bit as he brings him to the front court. Lead the screen. Leonard will go through that. Here comes Gasol over on Embiid. Rebound by Mark Gasol. Not going to get an easier look there for Joel on that layup. Couldn't convert. We have a timeout by the Toronto Raptors with 3.53 to go. Leonard has the last eight Toronto points. Moments ago, Jimmy Butler of the Philadelphia 76ers. Let's take a look at that left toe. He just turns it over. That is debilitating you can see the angst he is going through right now but he is back out there and let's see what his mobility is like and Toronto plus 10 offensive rebounds they have taken 20 more shots than Philadelphia overall they lead nine in rebounding looks like uh, Reddick hurt his knee as they go inside with 348 to play Red Reddick came up limp. Yeah, a, a little bit but to your point 15 offensive rebounds in this game for Toronto. Remember, Philly comes in in the playoffs. They're plus 10 in rebound margin, number one in the postseason. Opponent rebounds, they're number one in the postseason, and they have wow. not been able to do the job here. And Jimmy Butler, that ankle looked pretty good on the elevation off of that steal. Three and a half to go. Butler. This is Simmons, four of five. Ibaka on him. Out to Reddick, off the screen, long two wow. by J.G. Reddick! How about the concentration from J.J. Reddick? One point game. They the call. foul goes on a Baca. And that is tremendous concentration by Reddick there, who has hit some big shots here <laughs> tonight. Is, my goodness. He can tie it at the line. How lucky are we as basketball yes. fans to get these two <laughs> game sevens? My goodness. This is How lucky incredible. are we? 36 for Leonard. Ibaka with 17 and three. Rebound by Embiid. Who's got 11? Timeout tied at 85, game seven, fourth quarter on TNT. The NBA playoffs on TNT are brought to you by Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. And by Taco Bell. Sometimes you gotta live moss. I hope that sank in that Toronto has taken 20 more shots than the 76ers. They have for the night, seven more rebounds, but 10 more offensive rebounds than Philadelphia. Again, yeah, yeah, it's gonna be the story if Philly loses, but if, if Toronto doesn't win this game, Pascal Siakam has not shown up at all. He, he is allowing his 
inability to make shots take away his aggressiveness, and that has hurt this Toronto offense. MB thought three, drives an Mbaka side, steps Gasol out to Butler. Shot clock at one. Shot clock violation on the Sixers. And that's another one where, again, Jimmy Butler, you got to have some awareness out there. You got to be able to feel that clock. Just get it up at the rim and give yourself a chance at an offensive rebound. Leonard. There's a little double right there. Backs up for a three. It's picked up inside initially by Harris, then off to Butler. I'd love to see a post up right now with Embiid. But they're going to come double. At the very least, use him as a decoy. Screen and Butler switch. Gasol defends. Now Lowry. Another screen by Embiid. Shot clock at four. Reddick. Butler. Gasol defends. Three. Jimmy Butler. It's caught by Lowry. Ahead it goes to Leonard. Two to play in regulation. A back of the screen, the switch, and Lowry down the lane. We're going to get the contact early. With a foul, Harris number five. And not a bad foul because they're not in the penalty. They had a foul here. to give. Yeah, that, that's actually a good foul if you're Philly. But again, I'm, I'm perplexed. Why is it Philly trying to post Embiid when they get an opportunity here late in the game? There's Siakam averaging 21 in the series, and Siakam tonight has nine. Three, let it go! What a shot! 39 for Kawhi Leonard! scored for Toronto in the last five minutes. Raptors by three, 141 to go. An amazing shot. I tell you what, I, I've been critical of Siakam for not being more aggressive, but he set a heck of a screen there for Kawhi Leonard to free him for that triple. Able to step right into it and be late Stepping up on the three-point shot allows Leonard in rhythm to deliver the triple. Leonard in this fourth quarter has gone five of six from the floor, one of one from the line. He's played 42 minutes. Gasol and Embiid have both played 44 minutes tonight. We knew, both coaches told yeah. us, that they were going to go heavy with the starters. Oh, they have called it a two and not a three. They have reviewed it. And it is a two and not a three, and it's a two-point Toronto lead. And 38 for Leonard. Uh, I've been preaching about posted and beat. I wouldn't mind, but well, they don't have Lowry on Simmons. I thought Lowry is going to stay on Simmons, but. It's Jimmy Butler with 13. With the shot clock down to five and beat up high. Here's Harris. Shot clock at two. Doubled. Knocked away. Stolen by Lowry. Two and one. Siakam. And right now, Philly has nobody to blame but themselves with their lack of execution offensively. Welcome back in the biggest shot of the season thus far from Kawhi Leonard. You see Tony Brothers puts the hand up there, calls it a three, but they went back, took another look at it. And in the last possession, for the life of me, Joel Embiid, 25, 26 feet away from the basket. The inability from Philadelphia to get him touches down low to at least force Toronto to have to double or be in rotation. A bit perplexing here down the stretch. It's Butler. Switch, they got Lowry on him. 
with a little hand check on the perimeter right there. Philadelphia, the last three possessions, has gone down to zero on that shot clock. That time they make a move. Lowry picks up his fourth for the Raptors. Yeah, poor execution offensively the last three possessions, and that's a bit of a ticky-tack foul, but a huge one if you're Philly because Butler will get to go to the line. Jimmy Butler in this series, 88% from the free throw line. And tonight, 4-4. Four four. Every starter with a 76ers in double figures, at least with 13 points. I'm going to go out on limb, partner. I got a sneaky suspicion Kawhi Leonard's going to get the ball. Leonard. And Butler by Reddick. Rebound by Ibaka. He has been unbelievable off the bench. Lowry. And you don't need to foul if you're Philly. Timeout. Philadelphia. With Nick Nurse, their coach, doing a uh, pirouette as he went out on the floor to try to tell yeah. Scott Foster that he needed time. and.